All right. So cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's the parallel. Mm -hmm. Similar size. Mm -hmm. So this one's actually more recent. You're thinking this this one's that's right. So this is um, 15th century, mm -hmm. and this one is 18th. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but it's striking similar size. It's good, mm -hmm. good pocket, by pocket prayer book size. That's right. And this is also parchment. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And really the same primary inks, black and red, which were the most yeah, common, yeah, uh -huh. really across yeah, Asia. Uh -huh. But this one's a little coarser, wouldn't you say? Like the Absolutely. the, it's the more animal insular. hide is more. It's more like the yeah. gradual. Yeah. And, and also just more used. So the yeah, browning yeah. of the edges is just more human yeah, contact uh -huh. with the parchment. And less bleaching of yeah. it. Of the paper was just less it's effort. It's so with cute how I wonder why it's. Look at how worn it is, that wood on the outside. The two wood pieces sewn together. I wonder why that is. Why don't they just have one piece of wood? Does it make it a little more flexible or something? It just makes it a little more. It look, it's more like an Asian type of binding, isn't it? Actually, all of our, the bindings are always like this, but you never see them because they always have a binding. Oh, so this kind okay. of stitched bindings are very common of the signatures. Right. So the uh -huh. signatures are all, yeah. they're together and then sewn, and then they're covered uh -huh. with bindings. So you just don't get to see this. We have some books that have, when they've fallen apart, you can see that wow. inside of mm -hmm. our older books. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, so similar, yet so different traditions. Great.